Today on the Taste of Lizzie Tea Show, we are making a classic summer dessert, strawberry shortcake. It is absolutely delicious with fresh strawberries and a little bit of whipped cream or ice cream. So to start, I am just going to be coring these strawberries with this cool tool that I found on Amazon that just takes the core right out. And then I'm going to be cutting these strawberries into quarters, which is super easy because you're just... So while she's preparing the strawberries, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the shortcake. I am going to put two cups of all-purpose flour, four teaspoons of baking powder, three-fourths of a teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of sugar, a third of a cup of shortening, and then we are going to cut the shortening in to the dry ingredients until you get some coarse crumbs. If you have a pastry cutter, you can use it. We find though that just because it's such a small amount of shortening, it's just as easy to use a wooden spoon or even a spatula to mix the shortening into the flour. After the shortening is mostly cut up and mixed in, you are going to add two thirds of a cup of milk and one whole egg. The batter will be very, very thick. In the shortening, there may still be small clumps of shortening, but that's okay, because it will just bake in and melt as the shortcake bakes, which will leave a very rich and tender shortcake. So once the batter is all mixed up, it's time to put it into the pan. This is an eight by eight size pan, and you're gonna want to spray it with cooking spray so that the cake doesn't stick. Again, the batter will be very thick, but you'll add it to the pan. And then either use the spoon or even your hands to spread it out to reach all across the bottom of the pan. After the batter is spread into the bottom of the pan, it's time to mix up the delicious streusel topping. So we're gonna set this aside and in a small bowl, we will mix together half of a cup of sugar, half of a cup of flour, and then you'll take three tablespoons of cold butter, add it to the sugar and flour, and then this is where you pull out the pastry cutter to cut the butter into the sugar and flour. And this will, again, just come together in coarse crumbs it's okay if all of the butter isn't totally mixed in. It will bake into the top of the shortcake beautifully. So after you have coarse crumbs in your streusel topping, you will just sprinkle. It's gonna seem like a lot of topping, but don't worry, just add it all in there. A little bit more sugar never hurt, right, Kim? No, not at all. So after you've sprinkled on the streusel topping, it's time to bake the shortcake. Set the oven to 350 degrees and bake the shortcake for about 25 minutes. You'll wanna watch it closely and to test to see if the shortcake is done, just touch the center and if it springs back, then you know your shortcake is done. So the shortcake is in the oven and while that's baking, you have all your strawberries ready to go. So you're just gonna put sugar in the strawberries and what the sugar is going to do is it's going to extract the juices from the strawberries to make it really juicy and nice to go on top of your shortcake. And now you're just gonna mix it and wait about 30 minutes to get all of the juices out. And I put in half a cup of sugar for two pounds of strawberries. So our shortcake just came out of the oven. We are ready to serve it up. You can cut the pieces of shortcake as big or as small as you'd like. We normally cut it so that we get 12 pieces of shortcake from an eight by eight pan. My favorite part of this dessert is the streusel topping. And then when you put fresh strawberries over the top with the juices, 
It soaks down in the shortcake and makes it taste amazing. Whipped cream, of course, or ice cream, if you happen to like ice cream, either works. So the next time you want strawberry shortcake, skip the store. You guys can do this on your own. In under 40 minutes, you can have homemade strawberry shortcake with a delicious streusel topping. Choose those fresh summer berries, and this is gonna be a great summer dessert. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like and share this video, and then check back soon for more awesome recipe videos.